Hey guys, it's Tash and today I'm going to do a swimsuit collection for you as I finally bought myself a new bikini, it's time to do the collection. You'll notice a recurrent theme in many of my swimming costumes. I, how many have I got? Seven bikinis and a swimming costume. Four out of seven of the bikinis are very similar. This one's pretty awesome. I bought this in the sell in new look. I can't remember exactly how much it was but I know that it was quite, it was one of the more expensive bikinis. So these are the bottoms and there's really nice print on them. Just really nice. And then it's got like beads and sequins on it. And then there's the back. And then the sides are these like gold straps. The only thing is I don't like bikinis where they've got the straps like this because they just dig into you and it makes your hips hang over. But you know, I like it so what can you do? And then the top is this. And I, I love the ones that are like a bra because, you know, they're just like a cup, like a paddy cup. And I feel like they just fit better. And then that's the same with the gold and it's got the pattern. The one I just bought, literally recently got it in actually, the top wasn't actually out on the shop floor yet. The bottoms, I found one random like pair. This was like two days ago and I noticed them up in the totes on delivery. And I was like, I got a girl I worked with Ellie to go grab me one of the tops. and um. I absolutely love it. Now the bottoms, it's these. I just really love the print on it. Like it's got the leopard print in the background and there's the floral print. And it's just so nice. And I love how the bottoms are like really wide and so they fit really nicely on my hips. There's no bulges or anything and they just fit perfectly. The, as I said, these were the only pair that were on the shop floor. Of course there was more on delivery, but these were my size and I thought that was a bit crazy. It's like it was meant to be. I got this top as I always, I love the like halter neck tops um, that are like this. I find they're the best. I know that these are, um, these are the ones that are like best for people, girls with big boobs because they support them. But I like them as well because even though my, I haven't got big boobs, I still like that they like support them better than other bikini styles. Um, which, for example, is like this. Of course, I've got this one because this is all we had in this one. But this one's also from Matalam. And it's just got anchors all over it because I love anchors. And it has a halter neck bit as well, which I guess it does make it a bit more supportive. But I tend to find that when you have the, like, the strapless bit, it just kind of like sags because it's not like... I have strapless bras, but they're actually a cup. And whereas this isn't, so it just kind of like sags and it's just, it pulls your boobs down and just ain't, and they're not really that great. But I had to buy it because it was anchors and here's the buttons. There. And uh, how much are they? In Matalan, with this one anyway, because I've got the label on it still, this was £6 for the top. I don't even know how much it was, I just bought it. Um, and the bottoms were 5 and that's normally what it is in my land. 6 for the top, 5 for the bottom, so there's £11 all together for the whole bikini. Um, so I imagine that's what it was for this anchor one as well. Which brings me on to another Matalan one, which is this one here. I bought this two years ago, but I really, really love this kind of minty green colour. And then it's got this cute little bit on here with the like, white and green stripes so that's the top and I imagine once again it's the same price because it's from Maslam and then the bottoms are a bit different the bottoms are striped this is like the only bikini I have where the bottoms and the top don't completely match um, so I, yeah, I love that the striped this is where all my bikinis now become um, have a recurring theme because the next one from Primark and I absolutely love this one and it's another striped one. I don't know why I have so many striped bikinis. And I just really like this orange and white striped bikini. And um, I find it weird that I got lots of just striped ones when you can get some really nice patterned ones. But yeah, I really love this one. I don't know why it's undone. I normally keep them all done up. But um, this one's a bit more of a kind of thinner halter neck top because it's just basically kind of like the same as a bra where it's got that and then it's got the thin strap. But once again, it is another halter neck. And I like it when they clip at the back because when they tie up at the back, um, I worry that they're going to come undone. I know the bit on the neck cut as well, but then you kind of feel a bit more secure when only one part is tied up rather than both. And then here's the bottoms. And I don't remember how much it was. I think it was like £4 and £3 for it because I know it was really cheap and I was like, oh my god. But then there's the bottoms. 
And then these two are literally the exact same bikini but just different colours. Um, I first I bought this one, it's this navy and white one, which is the one I've really wanted because um, I really wanted a navy and white stripe because navy and white stripe is really not cool. Um, so that's that one, it's got really thick stripes and it has this little gold button and then just a navy strap on that one. And then it has like gold around the edge. And the bottoms, I really like the bottoms of this one because it's just like normal briefs. And then it's got another little button on it. And it's just as simple as that. And then this one as I said is the exact same but it's pink and white. It's slightly different, it has two buttons instead. Um, and the pink, if you can kind of see, it's like a kind of, it kind of looks a bit kind of faded in a way, where the outside is all like lighter pink and the dark pink's kind of like faded away like to that. This is, that is how it's meant to look, it's not like it's gone like that or something in the chlorine. So that's that. And then, once again, and the top is the same as the other one, I mean, where that, but this one hasn't got um, a thing on it, the strap is actually all... Um, the striped bit and the buttons actually at the middle bit there. Thinking about it now, my bikinis are kind of boring because they're just all striped bikinis. Um, I guess I could like I could even mix them up. I would I would love to wear like that together. That would be pretty. And then last but not least, I have one swimming costume. I used to wear tankinis for going to like water parks and stuff because. I remember I saw some swimsuit collection where the girl said that she wanted one with a strap, not a strapless bikini top, so that it was supportive for like water sports and stuff like that. No bikini will ever be supportive. If you go down a water slide, when you splash into that water, that water is going up. Your bikini top, whoosh, up. And if it comes off, you're in that pool at the bottom with no bikini top on, and your bikini top is probably floating behind you, probably even like gone like sucked underneath a like waterfall thing that's made it go to the bottom of the pool. That's embarrassing. So I always wore tankinis because even if they did fly up, it's just flying up on my stomach. Um, however, not really into tankinis anymore. So I now get swimming costumes and I know you can get some pretty amazing swimming costumes. And I got this one from Asda last year because I needed an, I wanted an update on my swimming costume. And it's this one. Starters, I really love this bit with the like, kind of gold bar bit. I always have the little halter neck strap there, just in case for like support. And then it has this absolute gorgeous city print on it. And it's just really nice, and I love how it's got the water at the bottom and you can see all the lights in the water. And that's just really nice, so, because even though swim costumes don't look that great, it's just nice to have one with a nice pattern. I saw one that had party rings all over it on a website, and I thought, oh, I wish I got that one, but I'm fine with the one I've got, I do love it. Tell me down below, how many swimming costumes do you have? Because I actually don't have a lot compared to some people. My mum's always like, oh, you got enough. And I'm just like, I don't have a lot actually. So yeah, it actually makes a change that I don't have a mega load of something. Yeah, oh, my light has completely died. I've been waiting for that. Ooh. But yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.